Hi, this is Bully here. Uh, this is my 1 to 11 Wolves in England. Starting a goal, you won't believe it. I could have had Schultz, could have had Seaman there, but I've gone for Chris Woods. In training when we weren't playing with the, the first team of England, he was a great shot stopper, great penalty saver, and I think he should have got more caps, but he, he's my number one in goal. Onto my back four, uh, I will go left back, I will go uh, Psycho, Mr. Stuart Pearce. His size, massive. He, honestly, he was like a brick wall. You couldn't get past him, you couldn't tackle him, he was scared to go even by him, to be fair. He was, a, he was a great, great left back man. He was always focused, focused, focused on the game thoroughly and in training as well. And uh, as you say, if I played against him, I'd go, go on, you go by him, I don't want to stand by him. But uh, he, was a, he was a good man. Right back, I would go Andy Thompson. Uh, he was a flying pig. He's only about this big, but he used to get up and down that wing like nobody's business, he, and he could use both feet. 1986, uh, nearly 30 years ago, you wouldn't believe, <laughs> absolutely scary, scary. Yeah, we walked through the doors down here, and uh, there was tiles falling off the roof, there was water all over the place, cockroaches running all over the place, and we just looked at each other and we thought, what have we done? What have we done? We like coming here, we come from West Brom, who was the top of the club there, to walls down here, but we never looked back. We roomed together for seven years on the trot. You know, we had some good times, bad times, sad times, happy times. We've gone through everything, me and Tom, I'll through this club, and it's, 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 it's brilliant, mate. Two centre-halves, uh, I'll go to the one first, I'll go Desi Walker. Des Walker was like a gazelle. He was absolute gazelle. Um, and he's one of these players that, uh, I mean, when he gets it in his head, he wants to win, he will win. I was good at te over 10 yards. I could turn a, a centre-half, get onto the ball, 10 yards, bang, there you go. I could turn Desi Walker and before I got my shot in, his legs had come around the back of me, around me, not fouling, just he was that quick, he was that fast, and I, I found it hard to, hard, to, hard to beat him. Next one is a, a good friend of mine as well, he used to play here, he's Keith Curl. Keith Curl, similar, similar stature to Desi, you know what I mean, tall, thin, solid, rock hard, a good talker, a good speaker, and he's very, very vocal on the pitch, and he was a great tackler as well. I'm going to play three in midfield. One in the middle, I would put Sid Cowens, Gordon Cowens. Absolutely brilliant. He had got two brilliant feet. He could twist, turn, pick anybody out, left, right, down the middle, over the top. He could pick anybody out. He's most, one of the most skillfulest midfielders I've ever played with. He was quite quiet, to be fair, when he first came. You know what I mean? Because the changing room was like really loud down here, black country lags. Uh, but uh, after a couple of weeks, you know what I mean? I think he came, Paul Birch came, and it was the Villa boys then, so he's got somebody to hold his hand and do whatever. But uh, he soon opened up, but uh, on, he, he did his talking on the pitch. Right hand side, uh, what can we say? Mr. Round the Bend, Paul Gascoigne. Uh, you know, I, I can say that because he's a good friend of mine. He'd be on the, on the pitch uh, an hour before training, and he'd be on the pitch an hour after training. He'd get bored in his lease, sitting around, you know what I mean, 24-7 football training, football training. And we had a race day where they give you a video of American racing. And uh, Lineker and Schultz were the bookies at the time, one, two, three, four, five races have gone, nobody's won no money. Schultz and Lineker are going, come on, yes, we're going to get all the money off and that's it, easy. Last race comes up, Dennis and uh, Gaza shows up, he goes, uh, oh, there's a horse there called something like Paul's Destiny or something like that. And Gaza's going, oh, hey, man, come on, let's put your money on. Put your money on this one. No, Gaza, Gaza, we can't, we, we can't. Got no. He said, go on, get on this one. It was like 16 to 1, this horse. I went, oh, it's the last one. So we all emptied our pockets, put all our money on. Schultz and Links looked at it and thought, this comes in, we've had it two furlongs ago. This horse is nearly at the front. Come to the line, oh, this horse puts his nose in front, bang, wins. We all jump on Gaza going, yeah, get in there, Gaza, get in. We've won, we all this money. Gaza stood up, didn't he? And he says at the time, he says, oh, yeah, lad, he says, we've got to give him the money back. We went, well, what, what do you mean? That, that took it off us. And now I said, why have we got to give him the money back? He said, well, I watched the DVD the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Left side of Gaza, uh, one of our old favourites, uh, Scouser, Paul Cook. Uh, he's a portion for the moment, doing, uh, doing quite well. Um, he had got the sweetest left foot that anybody knew uh, anything about. Honestly, he could, he could pick, you know what I mean? He could pick anybody from 100 yards to 50 yards to whatever. He could find me anywhere. He knew where I was over the top, down the sides. He put that ball on a plate for me and all I had to do was slot it away. The man in the hole, so I've got the four, I've got three, and I've got one behind, the, behind them, and that's Peter Beasley. Peter Beasley. He was different class, he was like a little fetish, if you know what I mean, he'd, he'd chase, he'd run, he hadn't got the long legs to do, but he covered ground uh, enormously, he was absolutely brilliant. I wouldn't call him a, a natural goal scorer, but he would pop up now and again with his long range shot. He was always a, uh, the playmaker, if you know what I mean, playmaker, that's why I'd have him behind the front two to say, you two go, I'll get you the ball, I'll back you up, and uh, he did that very well for, for Newcastle and England. 
The two I'm going to put up front, yeah, I mentioned Lineker before, but I think that's too obvious for me. The two I've played with uh, that, uh, that I think are class players, and I've got another one in there, is uh, Andy Much. He was my right arm when I played here, absolutely brilliant. And uh, the other thing with me and Much, he was, uh, he's from Liverpool, I'm from Tipton. Uh, we, we couldn't understand a word we said to each other, but we knew where it was on the field, you know, and that was the best thing about it. The gaffer used to say to us, you're on, a sh you're on a shoestring, where that goes, you go, that go, you go, there you go. And we just blended together. I went near, he went far, far near. We, we, just, we just did it, it was off the cuff, and it just happened. So the, the, the last one I'd uh, put up there is uh, Robbie Keane. He was a very selfish player, very selfish. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd run in the box nine times and the ball wouldn't come in nine times. I wouldn't go in the tenth and the ball would come in the tenth. I'd go, you little, oh, put it in the box, I'll score. So we played Norwich, Norwich away when he scored two goals. Uh, and I thought he'd just come into the side. Then I thought, he's got something here. He's going to beat my record. He's going to score more goals than me. Absolutely loved playing with him. I wish I could have played more with him. I'd like to pick myself to play in that team, but as you can see, the talent in there, I'm not allowed in there. All the supporters and the fans are going to think, you should have had him, you should have had him, you should have had him. But they're the 11, 1 to 11, that I would choose in my team.